Hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I am doing great. It is a great Thursday. This week has just flown by. It has gone so fast. There are so many things that I had on my list on Monday that I still don't have done today. Maybe tomorrow. Every day I go, well, maybe I can get that done tomorrow. But so far, no. Mm -hmm. So, I might just do something tonight that I've been wanting to do. Because I know what I have to do tomorrow, too. And Saturday. Well, I hope you had an awesome day. An awesome day. We stayed in our jammies all day. I'm still in my jammies from last night. But that's okay. Because tomorrow I have to get out and run errands. Again. But tonight I want to do Psalm 19. And um, I did a little thing about Psalm 19. But other than that, I want to read my song share that I did today. And um, I guess just go wherever the Holy Spirit takes us because I'm not sure. I've been busy doing other things today, so I really haven't had a lot of time to think about it. And started learning a new song, and so I listened to it all during the time that I was working. And uh, anyway, it's good. Last night we went to a See You at the Pole rally at Clifton. We took our youth. We found out about it the day before. I mean, hey, we had like 12 kids that went. We had like a van full. And so it was really good. It was really nice of Clifton to do that. And so we have See You at the Pole next Wednesday. Um, so I have to get up early on next Wednesday and go just, I can't do anything. We can't lead as adults, but we just go and wear a presence uh, just to support them. If nothing else, to pray for them as they lead. So anyway. I think it will be good. Um, let's pray. Let's pray. Today is day four of praying for our nation. And today I'm praying for everybody in our, in our nation to be saved. Everybody needs Jesus. We need Jesus in all things. Because things are not, are not, are not looking good. But God is in control, and we need to remember that. And God is always in control. He always has been. He is right this second, and he always will be. And Jesus wins. Jesus is the overcomer that wins. All right, let's pray. God, we just come to you, and we thank you, God. We thank you that you are in control, and you are on your throne, God, and that you are sovereign over all things. There is nothing that is hidden from you, God. We want to thank you for being our creator, our sustainer, our provider, our protector, our shelter in the storm, our strength and our refuge. God, you are mighty and magnificent and powerful, and you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness, but yet you are kind and caring and compassionate and loving, and you are patient. You want none to perish, God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we pray for the lost. We just pray that their eyes and their ears and their hearts would be open to truth, God. That you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we just pray for people that have strayed away from you, for them to return, for the prodigals to return for them to repent, and for them to have you reconcile the relationship and make it good as new. God, we pray for our nation. We cry out to you for our nation. There is so much wrong with our nation, God. We pray that truth would rise above all lies, God, that the truth would be in black and white, that some of these people would just start speaking truth. 
and that the lies would just go to the wayside, God, that all truth would come forward. We pray for our country to be one nation under God again, to be united once again and not divided, and to um, be... Um, Not to be great again, but to belong to you again, to have you for uh, in God we trust, for the what we say on the money, for it to mean exactly what it says. God, we pray for our veterans. We just pray, God, that you would be with them, that you would give them a peace and let them know that we are so thankful for the job that they have done. And we just pray for our military too, God. We just lift them up to you. We just pray that you would give them strength and that you would guide and protect them. God, we just pray for um, all the disasters that are happening right now, earthquakes, floods, droughts, uh, volcano eruptions, just all kinds of things are taking place at one time, God. We just pray that you would meet these people's needs, God, that they would feel your presence, and that they would that people would come alongside them to help and they would see the hands and feet of Jesus, the love and compassion of Jesus through them. And God, we just pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them, that they would feel your presence, God. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, let's read what I wrote this morning. I really want to be to where I can lean back in this chair, but I don't know. I don't know how good that is. Maybe I just want to do that when I work. Okay. So I shared the song. Uh, oh, what is it called? Sorry. Yes, he can. Such a good song. I love this song. I hear it on the radio a lot. This song and message by Cain is so powerful. I love the lyrics. It reminds me of God's faithfulness. All the times that he has been faithful. Did he move every mountain? Did he part every sea? Yes, he did. So yes, he can. Are you facing a mountain today? If you are, quit trying to climb it alone. Take the hand of Jesus and follow him. You see, Jesus is the only one that can see what's up ahead. Um, I'm going off script. He is the only one that can see what's up ahead. We can't. We don't know what's up ahead. He knows every rock. He knows everything that's up ahead. So we need to trust him and follow him. So trust God in all things. Day four of praying for our nation. Our nation needs Jesus now in all things. He is faithful in all things. He loves you so much and wants the very best for you. He wants to complete his plan and purpose in your life to further his kingdom. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. Come just as you are. Admit that you are a sinner. Ask for forgiveness. Believe that Jesus is God's one and only son that came to save the world through his death, burial, and resurrection. Confess Jesus as your Savior and Lord of your life. Invite him into your heart. Uh, Isaiah 43, 18 through 19. Okay. So let's read. I'm sorry. I have nothing is where it's supposed to be because I'm in the middle of doing the report for Sunday. So nothing is where it's supposed to be. Everything is not where it's supposed to be. But that's okay. Okay. So let's read Psalm 19. I started to get my other Bible. Because it's just lighter weight. But I like this I like the study part of this one. Okay, the perfect revelation of the Lord. To the chief musician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. You know, I was thinking a while ago, I'm sorry, I'm off script again. I was thinking a while ago that I really don't give people 
time to go get a Bible. So if you would like to go get your Bible, I will give you a few minutes. I will get me a drink of water before I start reading. If you would like to go get your Bible, go get it right now, and we will read this together. Okay. All right, I'm going to start over then. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle before the sun which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired than more to be desired are they than gold. Yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey in the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great re reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength, my Redeemer. Wow, that was so good because it started out as the heavens de declare. Oh, I can't speak tonight. I'm sorry. As the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows his handiwork, Day unto day utters speech, and night unto night reveals knowledge. So there's so much here, and then it talks about the law of the Lord is perfect. The testimony of the Lord is sure. The statutes of the Lord are right. The commandment of the Lord is pure. The fear of the Lord is clean. The judgments of the Lord are true. And it kind of reminded me of a verse that I read this morning, and I do not I can't remember where it was. Uh, maybe Colossians? I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to read the study part of this. And I may see if I can find that. Oh, let me see if I can find it in the back of this Bible. It has a really good index. a really good index but it's very heavy uh, ah Philippians 4 8 okay we're going to read Philippians 4 Philippians 4 next that's what it was I knew it was something that I like reading but I couldn't remember just read all four. There we go. All right, let's do the study part of this. God reveals himself through the beauty of his creation, just as a master artist is known by his work. The heavens reveal God's glory. Having God's glory is his imprimatur or signature in his world. 
his revelation of himself to his creation, the physical man manifestation of his divine presence, and the eternal form of his majesty, preeminence, and dignity. Everyone can observe this channel of God's revelation, and in so doing cannot miss the awesome creator, who by his very presence makes a difference in wields the incom incomparable influence of one who ultimately determines events and makes decisions. The beauty of creation should lead all to worship, the creator and not the creation itself. Glory is that essential possession and characteristic of God, which all recognize and to which all may respond in confession, worship, and praise. And so, uh, 19, 7 through 9, God's law provides true wisdom in revealing how to live a life pleasing to God. The simple person is one whose mind is open to God's truth. Fear is the attitude of reverent obedience. Compare Psalm 19, 7, 14 with Psalm 119, which praises the majesty of God's word. You know, we did a study on Psalm 119. And I broke it down into like four or five days because it was so much. I didn't want to read it all in one big chunk. But it was. It was about God's word. Every bit of it was about God's word, God's statutes, God's uh, God's ways, walking in God's ways. It was so good. I really enjoyed that. Okay, well, let's take our Bibles now and let's move to Philippians. Philippians 4. I went too far. I went to 1 John. That's too far. Ugh. I have all these little pieces of paper in my Bible. Actually, we are studying Philippians in Sunday school right now. There we are. Philippians 4. Oh, this is good. Prayers for your children. Hmm. I might read that another day. Right now I feel like reading this that I read this morning. It was so good. Because I never just read the verse that they give. I read the whole chapter. Therefore, my beloved and longed-for brethren... My joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, beloved. Be united, joyful, and in prayer. I implore Udio, Udia, and, and, and I implore Sinchi to be of the same mind in the Lord. And I urge you also, true companion, help, those women, help these women who labored with me in the gospel with Clement also, and the rest of my fellow workers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to all men. The Lord is at hand. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, Meditate on these things, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me. These do, and the God of peace will be with you. Uh, but I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last your care for me has flourished again. Though you surely did care, but you lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in regard to need. For I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. 
I know how to be abased, and I know how to be how to abound. Everywhere and in all things, I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now that is a that is a popular verse that a lot of people use. I've used it before. Nevertheless, you have done well that you shared in my distress. Now you Philippians know, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. For even in Thessalonica, you sent aid once and again for my necessities. Not that I seek the gift, but I seek the fruit that abounds to your account. Indeed, I have all and abound. I am full, having received from Epaphroditus the things sent from you, a sweet-smelling aroma and acceptable sacrifice, well-pleasing to God. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by, Jesus, by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. So that was I don't guess that's the end. Wait. Greet every saint in Christ Jesus. The brethren who are with me greet you. All the saints greet you, but especially those who are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Well, that kind of had two endings, didn't it? That was quite different. So that was... Uh, Paul. That was Apostle Paul. I thought it was, but, but it sounded like him. It sounded like his writing. Okay. Well, doing both of those, it's time now to do a... Let's just do this one today. Keys to life. So tiny. The keys to life are so tiny. I put them way up there. I have to move them over here. To put them way up there on this one too. Maybe like in front of that would be better. Anyway. I <laughs> love that. Uh oh. Now my daughter is talking to me. I'm, having, I'm sorry, I'm having a conversation too with my daughter. Okay, so I may be doing both. Okay, because that's what you do when you have kids. I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, keys to life. God loves you and has a great plan for you, for your life. You know, we had a great message last night, and that's what it was. It was about God has a plan and purpose for your life, and he just wants to use you to further his kingdom and to bless you. Oh, my. needs to get away. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Um, 
Jesus said, my purpose is to give life in all its fullness, John 10, 10. Sin separates you from God. We were all sinners, Romans 3, 23. The price for sin is death, Romans 6, 23. Um, the price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Romans 5, 8. Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. It's free. Eternal salvation is a free gift, Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't earn or work your way into heaven by morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No, no man, no one come, no one come to the Father except through me, John 14, 6. It's all up to you to ask Jesus into your heart. So say this prayer. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I'm going to repeat this again. Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is important to be baptized, to go to church, pray, read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. It is. You need to read your Bible every day. If you invited Jesus into your heart, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Do read your Bible every day and pray and find some praise music where you can praise God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Well, I need to have this conversation with my daughter. So I'm going to get off of here. And I'm going to do a really short prayer because I need to get off of here. God, we just, uh, we thank you, God, for everything. God, you are so awesome and powerful and mighty. God, you do have a plan and purpose for each one of us. God, I pray for many people that are sick. I pray that you would heal their bodies. Many people that are healing from surgery, God, that you would give them a speedy recovery. I pray for all my friends and their families, God, that you would give them peace, that you would give them protection and provision and blessings, God, that you would lead God and direct them um, as they go through this life. I pray the same for me and my family, God. I pray for, I pray for protection and provision and blessings and that you would lead God and direct us, God. Because a lot of times we don't know what decisions to make. God, I just pray for this conversation that I'm fixing to have, God, that the Holy Spirit will be in the center of it. And God, I just thank you for anyone that has come, God. I just pray that um, something here that came from your word will bless someone's heart. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Okay. Well, uh, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow, which is Friday. So glad it's Friday. Uh, much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.